Well, speaking of being inspired, our next stop in Flint was a place that completely blew our collective minds. If you like culture, science, music, art, and history, it turns out Flint is a world-class destination. Just east of downtown, we discovered the Flint Cultural Center. On one campus, Flint has everything you need to enrich your life and expand your horizons. Sarah Dunn is the marketing coordinator here, and she knew everything I needed to know to know what I didn't know, you know? When you go to tell people about the Flint Cultural Center, how do you even begin to describe this place? It's hard, because there's so much going on. We have over 33 acres right here in the heart of Flint. We've got 10 institutions. We've got science, history, music. I need hours to tell you about everything we've going on. It's funny you should say that, because I went on the intranet, the Webernet, and I got a teleporter machine. So we can get around really fast, because we don't have a lot of time. So I'm just going to set this here. I, we usually need safety goggles. I didn't bring them. Oh, God. Oh, shoot, this takes quarters. Do you have any quarters? I didn't bring my purse. Ew, you know, it. we can walk. Well, we'll just have to walk then, come on. <laughs> darn it. Well, I guess there's nothing wrong with burning a little shoe leather, especially when it lands you at our first stop, the Flint Institute of Arts, a local treasure that's under way too many people's radar, including mine. I'm ashamed of myself because I had no idea that Flint had an Institute of Arts of this caliber. It's disgraceful that p more people don't know about it, especially because it's free. Uh, it's amazing. The permanent exhibits, there's over 10 of them, and they're free all week. And then the temporary exhibits are free on Saturdays. So really, there's no excuse not to visit. It's the second largest in Michigan. And it really is worth a visit. Plus, you never know who you're going to run into here. So uh, what's it like being art? What's that? That's not your name? Well, what's your name? Oh, it's over here? Hold on. Your name is no one in particular? I'd be upset with the artist. You are? Well, you can't call him, you don't have arms. <laughs> Sorry. Well, we walked and we walked and we walked. The Flint Cultural Center is an amazing place. You could easily spend an entire day here. Between the Sloan Museum, which chronicles Flint's automotive history, to the beautiful Whiting Auditorium, to the world-class Flint Institute of Arts, to the Flint Institute of Music, the Flint Youth Theater, and Michigan's second largest planetarium, this place has something for everyone, even that guy. Hey, wasn't that a, uh, a, um... We get all kinds around here. It's fun. Yeah. I think I've said it about 462 times today that you are so lucky to have this in Flint. It's incredible. I know, I can't believe it. I wish I'd had this growing up. It's amazing to me to have everything at your fingertips. I always say when I hear that somebody is bored, they haven't been here because you cannot be bored if you come to the Flint Cultural Center. And the same goes for this entire city. But don't just take our word for it. Come check out Flint for yourself. I guarantee you'll like what you see. Under the Radar Michigan is brought to you in part by the Michigan State Housing and Development Authority.